Sevilla turned up, and they are the same Sevilla. They are plus 145, Villarreal plus 192, which, I mean, Villarreal, draw no bet, is at plus 115. The draw is at plus 251. Villarreal to score twice is plus 135. Sevilla to score twice is plus 117. Surely this is a both teams to score and over. Don't complicate it. Sevilla can't defend. Villarreal look like they're... Uh, they're going to throw caution to the wind and best form of defence is attack, Pablos. Um, I have some sort of PTSD from the last couple of seasons of Villarreal on the road, especially because for whatever reason, uh, they they couldn't win even the you know the small ones. But then again, they went to Girona last season, for example, and they won. They went to Sociedad and they won. They went they went to Barcelona and they won by five to three as well. But then you see losses to Celta Vigo, uh, you know, draws to Osasuna and uh, Alaves. So this is a team that I've personally lost faith in the last couple of seasons. Yes, they do have the quality, uh, but this is a match. This is a matchup actually that doesn't really favor them. They struggle to win at Sevilla. I think the last win. Yeah, it was 2019, and then uh, the one before that was in 2012. So Sevilla, no matter the season, no matter if they're struggling or not, uh, they always seem to avoid the loss against uh, Villarreal when they're hosting them. Now, Sevilla, this season, I'm staying away from them until I see what they are up to. Um, and a 2-2 draw against uh, Las Palmas, which is, you know, they didn't play that bad, but, you know, the first two goals were own goals. Uh, some red cards there. Uh, this is a team that I'm I'm not looking to seriously invest my money in uh, so early in the season. Although, if I had to bet on this match, I'd bet on the draw. Uh, but uh, again, this is a match where neither team is really reliable right now, and uh, I have I don't want anything to do with this match. But gun to my head, I take the draw. I think Villarreal are the, are the better side on what we saw, OK, only over 90 minutes. But when you put in the opposition, then Villarreal showed really good spirit. They created. Mm. And Sevilla, they're letting in goals from non-so-called XG opportunities. So Sevilla always find a way to encourage the opposition. I think Villarreal are the better side, Paco. Yes, I think that the you know if you are able to to sum up the the first match day for those two teams, uh, Villarreal overperformed and Sevilla once again underperformed in their in their game against Las Palmas. They allowed very easily the goals to trickle in against uh, the Canary side, and you know allowing two in the opener is never good news for them. They were able to scrap one one single draw, but. I think that the Areal overall, they, they impressed me quite a lot, especially when compared to, to Sevilla. I think they went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Atletico Madrid. They were able to score with Danjuma, an excellent goal, even though it's quite curious because I don't think Danjuma is going to remain in the Areal. I think he's bound to to make a move in the next few days to another to another side because the you know the strikers for, for the team, Tierno Barri has been the latest addition coming from the Swiss League. Uh, Gerard Moreno will eventually be one of the players you know who start in, the, in front. Remember, Gerard Jeremy Pino is once again in form, and we, we saw that against Atletico Madrid. Overall, I think that they have a couple of things to adjust at the back, but, you know, I have the, the shirt over here for one reason, and that's because I really believe that they are, you know, bound to fight for European spots if they are able to both secure a relevant keeper, because their latest signing, Luis Junior, I don't... I don't really rate this this goalkeeper. I have never seen him that much, and he's uh, you know he should become the starter for for Villarreal instead of Conde. And I'm not really sure that he can perform at top level. And I have a couple of doubts regarding the defense. But if you think from midfield onwards, I think Villarreal have a massive, massive squad. Very deep with plenty of alternatives, plenty of players with quality who can score in set pieces. Very dangerous attackers. Uh, an interesting prospect, you know. So that's why I went. I was very close to betting on Villarreal once again, as as I did last week with a single, you know, uh, a single scoreline last week with the draw, this week with the win. But I, you know, went for a cowardly uh, pick uh, instead, and I decided I draw no bet on on Villarreal because I just want to, you know, keep the keep the things tight. But definitely, if you go for a Villarreal surprise upset win in, in El Sanchez Pijuan, I wouldn't be surprised because remember that 
the atmosphere over in Sevilla isn't good. You know, Toxic. there is a big, yeah, big conflict between the fan base and the management. Uh, people are not really on board with the the 24, 25 project that uh, Garcia Pimienta is carrying on with the team. The signings haven't really impressed, and you know the the failure in the first match day of really impressing the fans has taken a toll. So I think that if Villarreal able to get uh, you know the opening goal and and getting control of the game, they can pass the ball around easily and fly around uh, Sevilla. And remember my words, Sevilla's fan base won't be happy about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember when we had the numbers up a minute ago. Over two and a half goals is like a minus one twenty-five. For both teams to score an over would be obviously around plus one ten, plus one fifteen. But the minus one twenty-five just for over two and a half goals looks like an absolute shoo-in. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Villarreal, both teams to score uh, and double chance. I mean, there's many ways to skin this cat, but I think you've got to keep the away side on your side. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks. Villarreal, draw, no bet, a big plus money, plus 115, remember they are also plus 192 to come away from Sevilla with all three points. Let's move. <laughs>